Welcome to Feast Magazine's Campfire Cooking, sponsored by Colton RV. Driving America since 1962. 50 years, three generations, one family. Hey everybody, it's Kat, and I thought that today I would show you how to make an incredibly easy, camping-friendly shrimp oil, which is also perfect for your backyard fire pit. And this could quite literally not be any easier. There's almost zero prep. I am gonna show you how to make the boil spice sachet, but if you don't even want to bother to do that, you can find one very easily in your grocery store. So I'm going to put all of this together and then we're gonna head out to my backyard and cook it up uh, in my cast iron pot. So here, I'm just gonna set this aside in order to make these spices. This is just some cheese block. Again, very easily found in your grocery store. I have a couple of bay leaves. This is coriander seed. It has a wonderful kind of light lemony flavor. Of course, black peppercorns. Mustard seed, can't go without that. I have some celery seed. I love the flavor and aroma of celery seed. It's really kind of unexpected. A Little bit of dill. All of these are dried, but if you had your hands on some fresh dill, for example, you could use that. I have allspice and also some crushed red pepper. And then the salt, I'm just gonna put into the water by itself. So all I'm gonna do is wrap this guy up with some kitchen twine. That's how easy this is. There's my sachet, done. Took about a minute and a half. So I'm gonna do the majority of the rest of my, you know, prepping out by the fire. So all I'm gonna do now is quarter my lemon. So I just need two quarters. I'm also going to quarter this very small onion. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and shuck this fresh corn. It's summertime after all. You gotta get your hands on some really awesome corn. There's three garlic cloves in there. And I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go out and check my fire. I'm gonna bring these ingredients with me and I'll see you out there. Obviously, the best part of campfire cooking is actually playing with fire and building your campfire. And for something like this, when you're trying to achieve a fast, high boil on a hanging pot, you wanna make sure that you have flames, not just coals. We're gonna have some other videos where you're cooking on coals, but here you want those flames to be touching the bottom of the pot. And so you want a nice fast fire. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add the salt and the spices to this. And I'm gonna let it sit for probably 10 minutes or so just to let everything kind of infuse into the water. Then I'm going to add my potatoes. So I added a log to the fire. I need to make sure that we stay at a boil. So if you are camping, obviously someone's gonna have to keep their eye on this while everybody else is hanging out and having fun. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my onion, as well as my garlic. I'm using these really, really cute little baby potatoes. You can use new potatoes. You can use Yukon Gold potatoes that are cut up. Really, as long as it's the kind of potato that's waxy or creamy and doesn't fall apart, you're gonna be fine. So we have ourselves a good boil going and now it's time to add in the corn and the sausage and the shrimp. The andouille is gonna give really great spice. And of course, this wonderful summer corn. <sighs> Yum. And then I'm using uh, shrimp that have been deveined and they've had their heads removed, but they still have 
their little jackets. And that's because you want to be able to just throw this entire dish on newspaper, on a picnic table, and just everybody dig in and start peeling the shrimp apart. So I'm gonna dump these guys into the water. And in just a couple of minutes, we're gonna be ready to eat. See how these little guys are curling up? That's how you know that they are done. You don't want them to curl too tightly, then they're overcooked. So I'm gonna go ahead, whoo, this fire's hot. I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy off of the fire and I'm gonna serve it up. Okay, that's it. It could not have been easier. I mean, seriously, probably the hardest thing was making sure that the pot was still boiling. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe and I hope you're inspired to try it on your own. I just squeezed a little bit of lemon on top and I'm gonna dig right in with my hands. If you're looking for the full recipe, just check this site along with some hints and tips from me and I'll see you next time. Feast Magazine's Campfire Cooking is sponsored by Colton RV. 50 years, three generations, one family. Visit Colton RV in North Tonawanda, Orchard Park, or at coltonrv.com and choose from over 650 RVs in stock.